And so our ambition uh, in uh, this uh, part of the symposium is uh, to look at what the European Convention on Human Rights can do for us, uh, try to deconstruct why it is under attack, understand the level of the risk uh, that the European Convention on Human Rights is facing, uh, uh, particularly vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the policies that the Conservative uh, uh, Party uh, has put forward in uh, recent uh, years uh, in relation to the Human Rights uh, Act. Uh, our first uh, speaker in this uh, panel is uh, Vera Hophaus, M MP, uh, who is the Liberal uh, Democrat MP for, uh, for Bath, uh, has been an MP since 2017. She currently undertakes the roles of Liberal Democrat spokesperson for women and equalities and Lib Dem spokesperson for justice. Uh, and she is also the shadow leader of, uh, of the House of Commons for the Liberal uh, uh, Democrats. I think you possibly missed out one um, important part of my biography that I think in the European context is probably important um, for you to know. I'm originally from Germany, so I am what I sometimes call myself a first generation European migrant into the UK. I'm now a British citizen, um, but um, my heart very much beats um, with Europe. And I always say this cheesy, cheesy thing um, that I um, was, um, I'm German by birth, British by choice, but European at heart. Um, and the cooperation across countries um, and especially, especially the strong bonds that European countries have formed amongst themselves um, um, in the aftermath of um, two horrible world wars is, is, is one of the most positive things which, with which I have grown up. Um, and uh, the, the sense of solidarity uh, that, that it has created amongst nations and people uh, continues to be one of um, uh, my, my strongest political drivers uh, and and its loss um one of my biggest sadnesses and and and, and brexit as as an expression of that loss of solidarity um continues to exercise my uh, my mind and wh wh why did we end up in in that place um i i was politically active in uh, in 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 germany while i was a student um in those days i grew up in west germany um you know the, the biggest political issue for us as growing up was a divided um, europe and and and, and the divided germany um and, and and really the assault on um on liberal societies came from the left but now my my um uh, what i've come to realize over the last um uh, five ten even 15 years that that really the, the assault on liberal societies comes from the political right. Um, and how do we fight back? Um, what do we call liberal societies? So first of all, um, you know, the, um, the, the principle of the rule of law, pluralism, of course, of defending of, of human rights, the protection of the op opposition and minorities. Um, and as I said before, a, a society based on solidarity, uh, the sharing of resources, tolerance, um, and all of this seems to be, you know, under under uh, under threat and attack, uh, and, and and the underlying causes for that, to me, like like uh, lie in our increasing inequalities. Um, people, um, as, as soon as they fear their own uh, their, their own space being being threatened and their own economic um, and societal well-being under threat, then they retrench um, and they start um, blaming others. And there's a lot of other things going on. There's a lot of divisions going on, um, and we end up um, with societies that. Uh, you know, call for strong leadership, um, and and ultimately the, um, uh, the 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 holiday, if one may, may say so, or you know the the, the restriction of, of 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 anything that we have um, achieved in in democratic societies across um, you know the Western world, particularly, to be suspended, um, and and those are um, the, the the big big worries, and um, that on a day like today with the American elections, and um, continues to worry me greatly because. You know what I had hoped for, and possibly you're sharing my hope that maybe, um, you know, the, the the rise of popular popular leaders um, and 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 the increasing right wing tendencies would have um, retreated um, and, and 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 there would have been a more clear result um, for 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 liberal for the liberal society. And yet it hasn't happened, and clearly whatever happens with the outcome of the American. Um, Elections is, is clearly a very very divided society, and and those sentiments that have uh, that have attacked our liberal societies continue to be there, 
this is my 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 devastating um, realization today um, that uh, that Trump also um, got more votes. So his, his brand of politics is definitely continues to be very popular. Um, I, I, and why did we end up here? So first of all, because I think um, uh, liberal governments failed to address inequalities enough. Um, we we have allowed um, inequalities to rise. Uh, we have failed to um, explain democracy as a process that is long, uh, rather than um, leading to quick results. Um, we have failed to, um, uh, to, 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 to stop um, divisions in a way that we, 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 we talk and live in our echo chambers. I'm one of uh, definitely a culprit of that. Um, uh, we, we don't reach out and really truly understand why the other side is thinking the way we are. Um, and what can we do about it? Um, so to my mind, um, things like citizens' assemblies are always very healing processes because we actually have time. So I would always, would always say democracy takes time and democracy costs money. Uh, in countries like the UK, um, we don't invest enough in democracy. Everything has to be to do with democracy has to be done on a shoestring. Um, so, you know, how much resources are we actually investing into making democracy work? And, and, and thereby spreading the ideas of um, the rules-based order, um, the protecting of minorities, um, the understanding of the other side and, to and, 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 and developing and, and tolerance towards people who are different from ourselves. Um, and, 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 and these are sort of my, 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 my starting thoughts for a discussion today. You know, how can we, can we bring back a division uh, for which we, of course, always we are happy, you know, it's human nature, we're blaming the other side, oh, it was them, they started, blah, blah, blah. what about us? Um, uh, where have we actually failed in engaging, um, um, in engaging with what we call held back or left behind communities? Uh, where have we failed um, to explain a complicated um, and complex democratic process that doesn't deliver easy results um, and easy messages um, and have allowed, uh, 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 you know, the attack on, on our liberal uh, values, the attack on um, liberal societies and the rise of the sort of the call for strong leadership uh, to come from. I'll stop my, my thoughts here and I hope I have given you um, enough uh, uh, food for um, coming in and, and, and sharing what you think, how we can get go forward. Thank you very much. That's, that's very much appreciated. Uh, I, ha I have to say, if I may uh, draw on, uh, on your point about how little investment uh, there is on democracy, uh, and conversely, how much uh, investment uh, there is uh, on, uh, uh, on, on, on degrading uh, rights, on undermining uh, rights. We, we know, we have discussed it uh, before, uh, that media, for instance, uh, uh, the tabloid media in particular, have played an important uh, role in communicating ideas about uh, uh, rights uh, that uh, create myths uh, about what they actually do. Um, they hide the positive effect uh, uh, that uh, they have on our daily lives. Uh, uh, and it's in response uh, to, uh, to that phenomenon uh, that uh, uh, collaborations uh, that in, have informally uh, sprung from the ground, uh, like ours, uh, have, uh, have come to life. Uh, I would absolutely agree. It, it is about a collaboration between diff different disciplines, politics and lawyers, you know, who are under attack, um, academics, um, and, and also to keep yourself motivated because um, you're feeling everybody feel it feels a little bit in retreat and a little bit defeated. Um, and I think uh, the best thing we can do is keep ourselves motivated by creating these networks and finding like minded people across different different, um, um, uh, you know, walks of life. Um, and not lose our values and fight back with the same means that the opposition does. Um, stick to our values, but find like-minded people. Um, make sure that we persist, because I think a lot of this will take time. Uh, and, and maybe I was naive thinking, oh, you know, a one term um, Donald Trump and, and then everything will be fine again. Um, and, and we might have to look at this in the longer term. And that needs persistence, that needs um, um, stamina, uh, that, that needs finding friends and being held up by each other, um, but but also never to give up. I'm, that's my main thing. Don't give up. OK, we've Brexited now. I haven't given up that um, uh, at some point in the future we will join the European Union again. And that is the stuff that, that keeps me alive and that keeps me going. 
stick to my values, okay, moderate them, uh, find like-minded friends, um, persist, don't lie down, um, and, 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 but reach out to the other side as well. Sorry for interrupting you, Dimitris. No, 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 not at all, not at all. I mean, as, as we are faced uh, with the loss of formal channels of communication in the post-Brexit uh, world, I, I would say it is uh, even more critical uh, uh, to, to, work, uh, to work together to ensure that to the extent possible, uh, the UK remains aligned with, with European uh, values, but, but also that the UK can positively affect conversations in Europe uh, in the way that it has been doing so uh, for many years in different ways through the work of, of, of people that were leading on the European front, uh, such as yourself, such as your uh, uh, colleague who spoke earlier on, uh, Baroness uh, Ladford. Uh, um, I think we should come uh, back to this uh, discussion uh, later on in this panel. Uh, uh, the connection, the natural connection uh, between uh, the more focused uh, conversation here about the impact of the European Convention on Human Rights uh, um, and the wider uh, even more important debate uh, about the threats that liberal democracy is uh, is facing uh, is facing today. Um, thank you once again. Uh, I, I, if, if you can stay with us uh, for this panel, uh, we uh, will be delighted to hear uh, more from your reactions uh, uh, to fellow uh, panelists uh, here. Uh,